Hello QGIS viewers, in this video I will show you how to create a composer or a layout based on a layer combination. That means the layers which are selected in the project are defining a layer combination and then that layer combination will define the composer. So the map in the composer will show only these layers. I will show you how to do it from scratch. First how to define a layer combination. A layer combination is this panel, which is a plugin both for QGIS uh, 2.18 or for QGIS uh, 3.0. I'm not sure if in the newer QGIS it's already integrated, but I'm still using the reliable QGIS uh, 2.18. You can uh, install that by going to install and uh, manage plugins. And of course uh, you will find it by the name of layer combinations. It is here. It is a uh, very important plugin. I use it uh, basically all the time. What does it allow us to do? First I want in the, this uh, drawing this layer to be hidden and this to be shown. That's I, I will turn the, it on like this and then of course I will update this drawing. This is the layer combination that uh, combines these layers. Now when I load another layer combination and return to the, the previous one you will see that it uh, looks exactly as I defined it. It remembers the layers which I have chosen. As for the composer, we go to project, new print composer, let's create a page and uh, title it. This is what we get. First I will change the page size, A1. And now we will draw the map, add new map, and uh, drag and drop here. We created the map, I will now zoom out a bit because I want the scale to be not 11,000 but let's say 50,000. And I want it to be stretched like this. Be careful that uh, by stretching it you change the scale. So when I stretch it to the size I want and the placement I want, this one is left for notes and legend of course. Then you have to readjust it to 50,000 and of course pan it a bit so that it is centered. And a little bit to the right of course, to the left and to the right here. And we don't need that much space, so I will place it like this, 50,000 again. And we are ready to pan it back. Yes, that looks nice. It's perfectly positioned. Now we can of course add a frame to that. Oh, it doesn't uh, actually matter much, but we can add a frame if we want. Like this light frame or even heavier frame, 0 0.5. And then how do we set this map, this composer, to show only these layers, which are in this combination? We do that by going to the selecting the map again and going to layers and we will of course lock layers in this case and we can also lock the styles for layers but in this case I will just lock the layers that means whatever the map is showing if I hide some layers or turn other layers on 
this layer combination here will exactly match this this layer combination which I've called here. I will show you. I've now logged the layers and uh, this composer is ready of course to be published in this uh, state after I add the legend of course but uh, after I've um, lock the layers, I will hide some layers here. You see I will hide all of these layers. And even hide this layer which is very important. So this is a completely different looking map. And if I go to the composer again and uh, refresh it, you'll see that nothing changes because I've locked the layers. Whereas if I don't lock the layers, and refresh it, you see that it updates. But in this case I don't want it to update because sometimes the layer combination is different. I want it to show exactly the same layers with exactly the legend that contains these layers. So in this case I go to my layer state again and in the composer I lock the layers and refresh and that will solve our issue. Now the composer is exactly with the layers I want and I will add a legend and of course I will publish it. I will show you how to do that in fast forward view because I will not uh, actually comment this in this video. So thanks for watching, this is how to make a composer with a map that contains fixed layers according to your layer combination. It's very important to know how to do that and uh, to know its functionality. It's Nicole from Adisoft signing off and wish you inspiration in your geographical and architectural practice.